41 when I finally made the jump to television. I'd done some things, guest stars and all, but like Hollywood, no, I was just this theater actress for years and years and years. And then I did this sitcom called Sybil and um, got an Emmy nomination. And I remember arriving almost in time for the ceremony because we were stuck in traffic in that way that you get stuck in traffic on your way to awards. But I remember walking in with my borrowed $500,000 Chanel Camellia diamond necklace, like, holy cow, when you work in the theater, you have to buy your own jewelry and get your own clothes. I walked in and down and I was sitting behind David Letterman and there was Barbara Streisand across the aisle. And I barely had time to sit down in my seat, adjust my <laughs> boobs in my leather bustier. <laughs> and I heard my name called, you know, in the nominations, because they always announce the supporting actresses first, first. Mm. which is great. <laughs> and they called my name. And I went up there and I got an Emmy. And then I was like, holy mm. cow, you know, <laughs> yes. lovely moments. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are, are at points in your careers where you can afford to be picky. You afford to say, mm, no, don't want to do that, don't want to say that. What are the examples for you guys of things that you're like, eh, just, I'm just not going to do that. I don't, I don't need to do that. Don't want to play a cranky old lady. Don't want to play a bitch. Mm -hmm. Just to, you know, or a powerful woman who, because she's powerful, is a bitch. Uh -huh. You know, all the stereotypes about older women. No. Not going to do it. No, mm -hmm. no. I just finished my 10th year of playing the same character on... Um, of Diane Lockhart, and for seven years, I was number two, you know, the supporting actress on The Good Wife. And I loved my role, and I thought it was, you know, great. She was the head of the law firm and the authority figure, and she was strong and dignified and well-dressed, and I, I loved that role. But she's, you know, with the spin-off that, that was created three years ago, she's now number one. And, you know, honestly, I got the number one position finally in my career and I was in my 60s. So it's like, mm -hmm. all right. I, right. I like to think there is movement forward. And, you know, these are the best years of my career. I get offered wonderful theater roles. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. finally a leading lady at, after yeah. all this time. Yeah. I was always, you know, sitting, waiting the best supporting actress <laughs> award goes to somebody else. But, you know, it was always a supporting actress. And I'm... I'm still this strong, authoritative, professional woman, well-educated. We're seeing women like that in our culture who are mm -hmm. now running for president and yep. mm -hmm. running the House of Representatives. Thank you very much. Yeah. Doing very well. You know, mm -hmm. women this age are powerful. And I love that somehow in this moment in time, I'm playing in a, in a TV show that reflects that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's high time that, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. women of such authority and, sure. and mm -hmm. you know, have their real airtime. Mm -hmm. It's long overdue. How do you do this? What, what drives you to, uh, to do this? Oh, I, I don't know if it's a choice. Like Michelle, I just, it, it just came to me early on. My grandmother oh, and my grandparents were Polish actors uh -huh. in, in, in the Buffalo at the Polish-American theater. So I, I grew up around... Mm. flamboyant personalities and music <laughs> and expressivity. And it seemed like a wonderful playground. And I, and I still feel that way. I still feel that's where my playful self, my open self, because I think, mm -hmm. like a lot of actors, I, I think I'm naturally shy, but I play mm -hmm. characters that are mm -hmm. not shy. Mm -hmm. and, and that's very, been very liberating. I've loved mm. the journeys my characters have taken me on. I'd never be that woman. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I We're never presume. We're shy too. Yeah. Can y'all tell? Yeah. 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 Look at totally. us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying to Michelle, what a brilliant job she did as Gwen, Gwen Verdon and like, what was the preparation? Uh -huh. We were both talking about how liberating it is to sing and dance and there's never enough time mm. to learn it. But when you get into it, it's such a wonderful frontier. I'm, I, I can't announce what I'm doing next because they haven't formally announced it, but I am singing uh, any chance I get because I'm preparing for a role that involves singing. And it's So we're going to karaoke a, after this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's so liberating in a terrifying, wonderful way.